How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzz. What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is the day of another day. Of another day that we call Tuesday. Anybody been said what's going to be? But hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as being safe in this world, but living in, knocking down doors, and making your dreams come true. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. Now I want to talk to you about something in reference to men. Now, of course, you know I love men at the end of the day as a man. But this is the thing. I have a question for my girls like me or even anyone who deal with men and stuff like that, or even women, but of course they're going to translate it and to the girls like myself and the guys, I guess, who like guys and stuff like that. If, if it applies to you, it fits you, leave a comment. This is the thing. Whenever I meet somebody and have a little conversation with him, I'm going to tell you a story about the reference to what happened to me not too long ago, yesterday. So the thing about it is, you have a little conversation with someone, they elaborate on this story, what they've been through when they want to date the girls like you. Now you have a little conversation and stuff and you, you know, you have empathy and all the things they go through. Because usually when the person tells you a story, it always ends pretty sad or bad. In most cases, sometimes guys elaborate, sometimes guys just don't tell you anything. But when a man is eager to tell you his story, what he's been to when it's come to dating a girl like yourself, you know, um, he lets you know what he's been through. And basically, in the last side of ten, he normally lets you know that a person did him wrong. Now, this is the thing. When a man talks, I listen to everything he says. I don't just get so infatuated by the fact that he's talking to me, that I may be attracted to him. I have to listen to the words that he says and carefully dissect everything. Not dissect everything as far as looking for something bad, but dissect everything to see if he's speaking and it's true. Because at the end of the day, people lie. So we have a little conversation like that and everything is going a little bit to, you know, it's going moving forward. Now we already know I'm a jaded bit of bitch and at the end of the day I don't, I have trust issues because I feel a lot of times you meet this person, you always meet the representative before you meet the real motherfucker that's behind the door. This is the thing. So we have a little conversation so that everything is going positive, everything going well, and next thing you know, bloop, there is a dick picture. Now. Some girls may like that and stuff, and some girls may, or guys with kids, and be, you know, you get your dolls, oh my god, I got a dick picture, oh my god, look at this dick, you're getting your life. But when you're a person like myself that's been through a lot of shit, and has been jaded, bitter, and a bitch, we realize that when it comes down to us, we only looked at it as sex. We're not looked at as human. And when it comes down to us, when we are already tarnished and hurt and looking at you through pain, but receiving you with a smile, just hoping and wishing that just maybe you'll be different. But here it is a, du a dick picture to prove that you're just like the other guys from our past. But of course you're going to say, oh, don't judge me by my past. Well, you just did what they did. But then, the best part, you get offended because now you change the conversation. You have made a shift in the whole conversation just by that one gesture that you did. No matter how much you got along with the person, no matter how much you like the person, at that point, you feel like it's just sex. So at this point, you feel like you're about to be tricked. I always believe in watching all the red flags and stuff. And at that point, I feel as though if you took out time to make a dick picture, you're sharing with me that you don't share with many others. It may have been someone like me or it may have been a straight up dude. I don't know. But at the point in my life, I feel like when you got a dick picture already made, you already got it out there. And that's fine. Some people don't mind. You know, some people get this job. I don't. Especially when I'm looking at you and you gave me this whole storyline of what you've been through. And at the end of the day, I find out that the reason why the person left you because you're a fucked up person. And I don't believe nothing you say after that. I'm going to listen. I'm not going to waste your time. Our conversation is now been terminated. I don't see you the same way. At the end of the day, I see you as sex. Because for you to not ask me, Raven, can I see you a new picture of me? It's going to make me feel uncomfortable that you ask me. But the fact I respect you is because you asked me. Now, there are some guys that don't understand when you send people a dick picture, the whole conversation has changed. Now, I've often questioned, this that the reason why you send it? It's because you're no longer interested in me and it was your way of getting rid of me. I've questioned that. 
But I always noticed how upset y'all get when y'all sent it. You didn't have to send it. The conversation was going so positive. And all my sisters, of course, in Islamic, the conversation be going so positive. It's going so smooth. Everything is fine. And then you fuck it up. You took out that one time just to fuck up everything. The, the girl or the guy that kissed me could have been the one for you, but you fucked it up. Out of disrespect, but then you want respect. I'm going to say it again. Out of disrespect, you sent it to her or him, and you want respect back to you. Oh, well, should I fall back? Yeah, motherfucker, don't fall back. Moonwalk. Matter of fact, run walk, bitch, because at the end of the day, I no longer see the same way. At this time, you're letting me know you're from my Oh, don't judge me from your past. Well, motherfucker, you were supposed to represent something different. That's why we're having the conversation. But when you do triggers and flashbacks of negative people that's hurt me through my past, you fucking shut that thing down. At the end of the day, probably it's going to be a piece of shit anyway. But at the end of the day, you could have played your cards. You know, like you go for an interview for a job and everything is so polished. And then once you get the job, you have like a goddamn full year of drop down, do what the fuck you want. That's what y'all do. And don't act like y'all don't want y'all yeah, all the goddamn time. Sometimes we dating y'all thinking we're the only one. We're just one of the ones that's in front of you right now. But there's a lot of other ones like us that's in your box. Or you're actually hitting it up while he's talking to us. And that's fine. Because what I don't see don't hurt me. But when you step in front of me, I watch everything you do. I watch everything you say. I just often wonder, do y'all personally, and if any guys in here does this and dick pictures, I want to do, do you purposely do it because you want to get rid of the person? Do you purposely want to get rid of them? Because at the end of the day, you have just changed everything. I know I can't build with you. I know you are a fucking whore. I believe you. I believe you got to get some type of health check as far as diseases and shit because you probably don't want to use protection and you want to share everything that you got from other people. You want to share it with me. And at that point, I was on board, but you fucked it up. Oh, well, I should fall back. That's one thing about me when a man tells me I'm going to fall back, I'm going to let you go. Because at the end of the day, if you could find it that easy after you did something fucked up to say fall back, then you wasn't even there in it like you said you was. Because a man that really loves you, or not loves you, but really interests in you and really want to get to know you, is not going to do anything that's going to demise anything as far as that relationship, as far as being positive. But if you want to take our time to fuck it up, then never did it wasn't positive. It was a trick. And sometimes a bitch just get tired of going through this thing. And it's sad because I try to be the cheerleader for guys and let them know, you know, there are good guys out there. But y'all making me get my ass whooped left and right because y'all ain't shit. And you make a bitch just want to charge y'all. Just charge you for my time. And that's it. Come in the door, charge it, and get out the fucking door faster. And it's sad because you don't want to be that bitch, but they turn you into that bitch. And y'all ain't nothing but bitches and whores. But motherfuckers change the goddamn caption of the story. Stop doing fucked up shit if you're really interested in the person. Because everything you could have had, everything that was yours, you just push it out the fucking door. And now you got a completely different person that you had before you sent that dick picture. So if it was worth getting rid of that person, you did a great motherfucking job. Because now you got rid of the one that probably could have been the one for you. But you fucked it up by being a fucking dick. Over a dick. And for what? To go right back to grab some lotion and sit in the room looking in front of the mirror and beat off to porn. At the end of the day, how long can you do that? But that's just your opinion. That's safe sex, so you ain't hurt nobody. Go ahead and beat your little meat. And then on top of that, you want to send big pictures. I don't even understand why you got to do that. When you make me want to wonder, do he think his dick is not bigger than most I done seen? Because most of the times, I done seen dicks way bigger than y'all. Y'all send me these little itty bitty critters through my box. I'm like, really? It's bad enough looking at you. Now, I'm not even that much attracted, but now you just fucked it up the rest of the life. Anyway. I just wanted to share this theory with you. Isn't that you wish you ever having a great conversation, you know, with someone and you just happen to drop it and you're like, okay, now I don't see you the same way. You don't fuck it up. But these men don't seem to give a fuck anyway. Anyway, I want to give you back in this and I'll be watching comments at the bottom. And like I said before, this Instagram button, you follow me, I'll follow back and I'll let you out. Love you. And thank you for watching Catch the Rain. All right now, come on, baby, let's go on Instagram. Like I said before, if you have a story you want to cover, you can email me at ravenover at yahoo.com. Of course, I will leave it confidential just in case you don't want anyone to know you send me this. Also, at the top, there's the Instagram button. Guess what? 
If you follow me, I'll follow you back. Subscribe back. Oh, come on, man. Subscribe to my channel. What are you doing? You want to subscribe to my channel? Subscribe <laughs> to my channel. Love you. Love you.